Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 2. We're going to be looking at vectors again. We have several more episodes with vectors. Today we're going to be looking at operations, not on vectors. We'll be looking at negation, magnitude, normals, addition, and subtraction today. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, first, we just want to go ahead and define what the zero vector is. It's noted by the zero here, and it's basically when every single element is zero. It's a special vector and it has a magnitude of zero and a direction of zero. If you want to negate a, uh, a vector, you have the additive inverse of x, which is basically negative x. And it's an element that when you add 2x, it is equal to that zero vector. So an example thereof would be we have negative on this vector here. Every single element is the negative. So if we're going to negate in 2D, 3D, or 4D, we'll have the negative on each, and you'll see it's negative x, negative y, negative x, negative y, negative z, and so on and so forth for 2, 3, and 4d. Magnitude, it's also known as the length or norm whenever you're reading anything. In linear algebra, it's denoted by the uh, double pipes around the vector, and it's equal to the square root of the sum of all of the pieces squared. So some examples in 2d we'll have v of x squared plus v of y squared, and then take the square root of that. In 3D, it'll be v of x squared plus v of y squared plus v of z squared. Take the square root of all of that. As a specific example in 3D, if we have the vector of 2, negative 3, and 4, and you can see all the following math, the magnitude is ultimately square root of 29. Vector multiplication is by a scalar can be placed on either side, and you'll see that the result is still the same. It's k of a1, k of a2, k of a to n. And this is actually an example of uh, negation at when k is equal to negative 1. Here's the 3D example, where it's kx, ky, and kz. And it's multiplying by a scalar. Uh, 3D example, it can also be divided by a non-zero scalar. So if you have it k, and where k is non-zero, so you'll have 1 over k, and you'll see have x over k, y over k, and z divided by k. A few notes. We don't show the multiplication symbol. The scalar multiplied by vector and division happened before addition and subtraction, and the scalar cannot be divided by a vector, and a vector cannot be divided by a vector as well. Normalized vectors. So a lot of times we don't really care about the direction, or we care about the direction, but not necessarily the magnitude. So we're going to use a unit vector, and that's when it has a magnitude of 1. This is also known as normalized vectors or normals. So if you see anything that says what well, compute the normal or the unit vector, those are the same thing. So to compute the normalized vector, the norm is going to be the vector divided by the magnitude of the vector when the vector is not when the vector is non-zero. So it's not the zero vector. Vector addition and subtraction will be next, so really nice and simple and easy. Basically, if we have a vector of, the, of a given length and a vector of the same length, you just add these each element together and have a new vector. Same thing with subtraction. And you can actually think of subtraction as the adding the negated value of the second one. So this could be plus negative 1 of this. Just a different way to think of it. Here's a small example in 3D. See each of the elements here and you can see their resulting vector in the end. Finally, vector cannot be added or subtracted with a vector, a scalar of a different dimension. Uh, it is commutative for addition, so a plus b is equal to b plus a, but vector subtraction is not, so a minus b is not the same as b minus a. That's only the case if they are the same. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up with b minus a times negative 1. So and you can play with that, and you can look exactly how that is. So um, that's it for this episode. We're going to keep these uh, math ones short if we can. And uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. Share this on social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for a new newsletter. And have a great one. Talk to you later.